Hi Pisces, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. I recently got this new deck. It's called the Crystal Visions Tarot. It's an awesome deck and I've fallen in love with it right now. The artwork is amazing and it's really cool because it has an extra card in it. It has a 79th card and it's called the Unknown card. It's called the Unknown card and uh, it talks about embracing the unknown. So if I if we get it out in this reading, I'll definitely talk about it. So if you guys are interested in tarot or interested in getting into tarot, I would highly recommend this deck um, just because it's so pretty and it's so easy to use. Like, at least for me, I get a really, I have a really easy time getting the messages from this particular deck. Like you can see the cards flying out left and right. you guys so you got a fantastic reading um so just right off the top i'm seeing a couple of the same cards that no uh, um i'm seeing the page of swords which aquarius actually got in the reading right before you so if you're dealing with aquarius i would definitely take a look at that reading especially since they got the emperor card and you got the empress so for a lot of you, you might be seeing like a divine counterpart with an Aquarius. So definitely like either pause this reading, go check it out, or like finish up this reading and then go see. But there might be something worthwhile to you uh, in the Aquarius reading, especially if whoever you're dealing with has heavy Aquarius in their chart or like 11th house something. But um, other than that, I'm just looking at your reading and I'm like, Wow, fantastic. <laughs> because you have the sun as your overall energy, and it's fantastic to have the sun as your overall energy. I feel, um, so the sun is the most positive card in the tarot deck. So I feel like a lot of you guys are really thriving right now. You're feeling in your power. Um, you're feeling good and feeling positive even though some of the things around you might be difficult. Uh, I feel like you're in the kind of mode where like you could pull out your wallet and then have five bucks fly away and you're like, you know what, it's no big deal. And then go about your day. And then, I don't know, you get to work or something and someone's like, did something bad happen? And you're like, nah, not really. I'm having a good day. And I feel, and I love that for you guys. Um, I see like, the only thing that worries me here is this Justice card that came out in reverse. Uh, maybe you guys are having a hard time right now in Libra season. So, like, in a, for, like, this week and the next week, it might be a little bit difficult for you. Just because there's, like, it could be that people around you that have heavy Libra in their charts are being indecisive. It could be that your other person who has, uh, like the, the person that you're dealing with has heavy Libra in their chart and they're being really indecisive right now. Just because when I think of the Justice card, I think of the, in reverse I should say, I think of the sort of more negative parts of the decision making process. Uh, you may feel like you've been treated unfairly, sort of with like my unlucky $5 example that I gave just a little while ago, but I feel like it's not really getting to you. Oh, I should also notice, I just saw the star card, 
which is even more confirmation that you might be dealing with someone who has heavy Aquarius. So if you can get their birth time out of them and stuff like that, I would definitely check out what their chart consists of. Um, there's a lot of good like astrologers on YouTube that show how to do that. And it's, I feel like it would be pretty beneficial for you. But other than that, I am seeing, so like just on the topic of signs, I'm seeing the justice card, which could be a Libra, the star card, which could be an Aquarius, the tower, which is scorpionic energy, and then the empress, which to me always feels like Taurus or also Libra, just because the empress deals with the sign of Venus. And, um, back to the uh, reading proper, I'm like, I've been putting off kind of talking about the Ace of Wands and the Two of Cups, but man, that's such a good omen to have in love, or just in general, to be honest. The Ace of Cups is a new passionate beginning, and the Two of Cups is soulmate energy. So like, you have just soulmate after soulmate after soulmate energy here. And like, with this Tower card, normally I would sort of connect negative things to the tower card but because there's so much positive energy around us and you have the um sun right in, uh as your overall card i feel like it's not it's not a bad thing the tower is just a big overhaul that you needed in your life but it, it's not painful it's not difficult and it leaves you feeling like the empress it leaves you feeling renewed powerful um you know, maybe if you were, like, struggling in relations to, like, your feminine energy or your sexuality, you're sort of, like, getting a new lease on life in that regard. Uh, with the Ace of Swords, sorry, with the Page of Swords and the King of Swords, I feel like, so just off the bat, those are air, or, um, air signs. So Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. So the Page of Swords is usually to me, the beginning stages of a message or like an immature, an immature person. But because I'm seeing this huge jump to the King of Swords, I feel like you may have talked to somebody one day and they're sort of arguing about this petty stuff and then they come back the next day and they're like a completely different person and they've like grown. And I'm getting the impression that maybe you were dealing with a, uh, a sign or sorry, a person who was previously mentally immature in the past, but now you're like, they just went from like rebellious 16 year old to like lawyer. And I feel like you're like, whoa, when did this happen? Especially with this Knight of Pentacles. I feel like if this person, what it could have been is that this person was financially unstable in the past and that like took a toll on them mentally. And they were sort of in a place where they were a lot more stressed and a lot more agitated uh, and easily to, you know, upset easily. They were like on a short fuse, but I feel like now that they've are in the stages of stabilizing themselves, they are sort of maturing a little bit more mentally as well, or getting back to the point that they were before they were like so stressed out about that situation. Um, but I see you with the three of wands is that you definitely, probably have some history with this person i feel like you've dealt with them in the past and i feel like i don't think it's been terrible for you um because if it was terrible i don't think i would see this much positive in the reading but this much positivity i should say but um i'm gonna go out and say like if you're dealing with someone who's problematic or like abusive in some way i I wouldn't go back to them like obviously look after your mental health first and you know talk to the people around you but um if this person wasn't like that or, or wasn't abusive or anything then like maybe consider giving them a chance if they're if that's something that's up your alley um if it's not then don't do anything that you don't want to do like if you're like afraid of like oh i don't want to miss out on like my soulmate or whatever like don't worry about it if it's not this person, then it's someone else. And all you really have to do is follow your gut instincts, which I feel like are super strong right now with this sun card and this star card. I feel like you're in a really generous energy. 
And I should also mention that the star card, it, it talks about wish fulfillment as well. And with the sun card, that's just multiplied, and then you have the empress. Like, this is just a fantastic reading. Like, there's some, there's the tower, which is a scary card, but like, you have so much positivity in here. I have no doubt that you guys are going to do just fine. And with that three of wands, I feel like you guys aren't really too worried either. You're just waiting to see what, you know, life has in store for you. So that was your uh, reading for the second week of October. I wish you the best of luck, Pisces, and I hope to see you guys next week for your next weekly reading. Take care.